Jeff fans, what's going on? It's Monday morning, March 11th. We are officially into legal tampering today. 12 o'clock it starts. I'm excited, especially on the heels of yesterday's deal with Kalichi Osemele. Uh, the cost really for only a fifth round pick and moving down in the draft. Uh, they got a sixth round pick back from the Raiders through Chicago. So it, it turned out to be like 57 spots that they moved down. So a tremendous move for a two-time Pro Bowler, a guy that's still under 30 that has plenty of potential, a physical specimen, a mauler, a guy that can pass block, get after it in the run game. That is what you need around Sam Darnold. That is a fantastic start for McCagden this offseason. You know, with the money that we have, with the holes that we have, we knew what this offseason was about. It's about completing the rebuild. I've, I've seen some talk about ending the rebuild. We have to end the rebuild. No, no, no. We're completing the rebuild. If it's around Sam Darnold and it's around Jamal Adams and a, a bunch of other young core starting players that we have, like Jordan Jenkins, Chris Herndon, Marcus May, the list goes on, Brandon Shell, guys that you know most people don't want to talk about because we're too busy talking about Christian Hackenberg and our Darius Stewart. By the way, we could break down the Cagnans trade record anytime you want, Joe and Tyson. I'm talking about the trade up for Sam Darnold, which is obviously the, the move that is going to be praised the most, when, as it should, when you aggressively trade up to land your franchise quarterback. But aside from that, obviously getting a third round pick out of Teddy Bridgewater, a uh, second round pick, uh, and Jermaine Curse for Shelton Richardson, Demario Davis for Calvin Pryor, uh, Brandon Marshall and Fitzpatrick, who broke team records for fifth and sixth round picks. So let's let's not act, or Henry Anderson, seventh round pick, let's not act like Mike McCagnan doesn't know what he's doing when it comes to trades. Let's also not act like McCagnan doesn't know what he's doing when it comes to his first round picks, because he's four for four. You can argue all you want the the level of success as far as Darren Lee goes and Leonard Williams um, whether it was a reach at pick six I don't think so you look at those guys that um, were drafted around him um, that, that the top 10 in that draft not very good at all other than Todd Gurley um, quarterbacks that were bust that we could have taken that we didn't Eric Flowers plenty of other guys um, so I'm happy with the Leonard Williams pick especially at the time we had Mo we had snacks we had Sheldon we didn't know there was a need there so I'm very happy with that pick uh, you look at the Darren Lee pick, the jump that he made from year two to year three, uh, I'm not complaining about that at all. We've had a need for speed at linebacker for so long, so I'm happy we have Lee here. Both guys are 24 years old, and aside from that, I don't think anybody's complaining at all about Jamal Adams or Sam Darnold. So what the hell are we complaining about with Mike McCagnan? It's been two years since we started to rebuild. People could throw the five-year rebuild shit in the garbage. I don't know why we're still talking about this being a five-year rebuild when it couldn't be any further from the truth. We know what the first two years were about. The Jets had money that they had to spend. There wasn't a choice. There wasn't an option. They had that money. They had to spend it. And they already had players on their roster like Decker, like um, like David Harris, DeBrickishaw, Mangold, all these guys that were under contract. So what did they do? They added some talented veterans, like hopefully they do this offseason, to make the team competitive right away. And they were. They won 10 games. If Bulls knew what he was doing in Week 17 in Buffalo, they would have won 11. They would have been a playoff team. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. They took a shot. They brought it back for a second year. It imploded. And then the true rebuild started. Whether you like it or not, whether you want to say it's been four years, because it has, fine. But the reality is, the rebuild started two years ago. And since that time, the drafts, you, you can't argue this, that the drafts have been better. Obviously, his first draft was terrible. The second draft, he made pretty solid improvements. Darren Lee, Brandon Shell, uh, you got Robbie Anderson as an undrafted free agent. There were some quality picks in that draft. And then you go to the third year with Adams, uh, Marcus May, Eli McGuire. They still saved all the cap space. And then this past year with Sam Darnold and Chris Herndon really being the two foundational players that you got. I'm not complaining at all. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm not complaining at all. But now, obviously, is the time that McCagnon's got to get it over the hump. Now he's got to complete the rebuild, turn this team into a winner. All right, I, I was giving him three years as soon as it started. When, when they said that, hey, we're going to do it the right way, I was willing to give him three years to get it done, all right? We sat through the miserable two years, everyone complaining nonstop, pushing all their narratives. McCagnan doesn't know what he's doing. He can't draft a quarterback. He has no plan. No, he knows what he's doing. We got a plan in place. We've got our quarterback in place. We've got all this money to spend around him. We got the third pick in the draft, which we can trade down, or we could take a stud pass rusher, or we could find our left tackle of the, fruit, uh, the future. We have so many options for how we could build this team. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Save your negativity. Save it for somebody else. I'm not dealing with it. 
I'm excited for this offseason. McCagnan, make me proud. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Let's go, baby.